Hello everyone. My name is Venkat. Today I'm presenting save recur feature that can save simulation time and effort. First I'll give a brief introduction about Primarius. Primarius has been profitable for more than 10 years, have more than 100 customers around the world and five worldwide offices. In today's presentation, I'll be focusing on our save recur feature in SPY simulation. In the SPY simulation area, we have three solutions, NanoSpice, NanoSpice Giga, and NanoSpice Pro. NanoSpice is a high-performance parallel spy simulator that typically runs two times faster and has five times larger capacity. As a spy simulator, NanoSpice runs on the highest accuracy setting as well as provides full spice analysis features. NanoSpice Giga is the GigaSpice solution that Primaris introduced to replace traditional fast spice. It runs two times faster than typical fast spice and has the Giga scale capacity. NanoSpice Pro delivers even faster speed for full chip memory and SOC design. NanoSpice Pro is two to three times faster than NanoSpice Giga on average. All these tools are very memory efficient and scalable. They are also foundry proven and are ready to run on most of the models on the market. Long simulations are at risk of getting aborted due to unexpected reasons such as power outage or periodic task scheduling. If the simulation is aborted, Traditional spice tools require a restart of the simulation from the beginning, wasting time and effort. With the NanoSpice Save Recur feature, you can be more productive by restarting the simulation at the last valid point. NanoSpice Save Recur feature has two methods, checkpoint file and state file. Simulator will save the checkpoint file every hour by default new one overwriting the previous one. Generated checkpoint file will be deleted after the simulation has completed successfully. Checkpoint file will be kept if the simulation is interrupted. Here is the flow for using checkpoint file. When a simulation is run, simulator will save the checkpoint file every hour by default. Waveform and log files are saved at time when the simulation job is killed. For the recover function, we should just include plus recover command line option to use the checkpoint file. Simulation resumes and simulator will update the checkpoint file every hour by default. Waveform and log files with different names are saved if the simulation job is killed again. Save recur functions can occur multiple times. We can get the state file by using any of the three commands, save clock, save period, and save time. For example, if we set save clock equal to 3600, simulator will save the state file every hour, new one overwriting the previous one. If you set save period equal to 0.1 micro, simulator will save the state file every 0.1 microseconds of transient analysis time. New one overwriting the previous one. If you set save time equal to 0.5 micro, simulator will save the state file at t equal to 0.5 microseconds. This is convenient for debug and testing purpose. Simulation can be restarted with the last saved state file. State file will be retained in the run directory 
after the simulation has completed successfully. Here is the flow for using state file by save clock command. Copy existing spy stack and add save clock equal to 3600 to dot trans statement. When a simulation is run, simulator will save the state file every hour. For the recover function, add recover to use state file from save function simulation. When the simulation resume, simulator will update the state file. Save recur functions can occur multiple times. Primaris is an industry leader in SPICE simulation, SPICE modeling, and testing solutions. Thanks for your time.